Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and in today's video, we're going to create a power app with a gallery, and we're going to add a search box and a filter, and then we're going to make those results live filter to whatever's selected in those filter boxes. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so as you can see, we've just got a blank canvas app here. Now, for the data source, I'm just going to use a local collection and use this test data. But obviously, in your case, you might have a SharePoint list, database table, SQL database. Um, it's all the same. Obviously, you just need to add your data source in the data sources here. And then when it, anywhere when I reference test vendors call, that's where you reference your data source. So let me just do the run on start to populate my collection. Now, first, what we're going to do is we are going to insert a blank gallery. And just for now, I'm just going to set to our test vendors call, which will populate the data. Let me just bring this up. Let me just give this a border of one. Now, I am going to insert three labels. So for this example, yeah, we've just got our email, our country, and our customer name. And I'm going to do a search on the name, and then we're going to have a filter on our country. Now, let me just insert some more labels for our headers. these fonts white and then I'm just going to insert a rectangle so we've got a nice little header. I'm just going to realign this and send it to the back. Reorder, sorry. Okay, so now we've got our gallery and we've got to populate it with our data. Now let's insert our text input and then I'm also going to insert a combo box. Now this is using classic controls. If you're using modern controls, there probably will be some slight differences to this. Um, but just for this example, I'm just still using the classic controls. First, we want to just take everything away from this. So that's just an empty box. And then for this drop down, we want to do a distinct filter on all this data. So it only brings in the distinct values. So I'm just going to write distinct. So I'll type in I'm going to put test vendors call our data source and then the fields we want to retain as country. Let me just finish that. So now if I select this there, you can see it's now filtering on those distinct values. And now finally, let me just insert another label. Yeah. Okay, so last step, we're going to change the filter on the items now. What I'm showing you here is just one approach to do these filters. And I'm sure there's many ways this can be achieved. If there's other ways that you think's better than this, by all means, put it into the comments. I'd love to hear that. And it'll help everyone in the community see the better ways that it can be done. But this is just one way I'm showing you how to do this. Um, one thing to note as well is the way we're going to do this is multiple if else statements. So if you are wanting to filter on more drop downs than one and search on more fields than one, 
this if else statement is going to grow larger which is why i'm saying if there's other methods you know how to do this for larger amounts of filters please just put into the comments but let's just get straight into typing this out what i will do as well as i will put all of this code in the description of the video basically what we're going to do is we're going to say if is blank text input two dot text and is blank combo box two dot selected dot value then we're going to do a sort okay so there's our first one so if the search box and the drop down are blank, then we just want to bring back everything. Everything in that data source. Then let me just take a copy of this. So next, what we want to do is if the text is blank, but the drop down is not blank, then we want to do a filter. And we want to say where country is equal to we want to do a filter where the country is equal to what is ever in that combo box and i'm just going to take this again so for the next one we want to say if the search box is not blank but the drop down is blank then instead of filter on country we want to do a start with because this will allow the results to filter as the user is typing in the field okay and then finally for our last filter this is if the text isn't blank and also the drop down box is not blank um, and then basically we want to do that starts with the name and then we want to do and and then we just want to put our country filter in there as well now if i close that there we go okay so that seems to be working okay so let's just give it a little test so as you can see we've got our results if i just do in this now start typing as you can see that filters and then if I now change this, there's everything in the UK. So you can see we've got Tesco there. We've got as there. And there's our results. Okay, so that's all done. So I hope this video helped. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And take care. Thank you.